Maqala University as one of the leading uh, universities and research institutions in Ethiopia and mainly in the dryland parts of Ethiopia. Uh, it has a responsibility to carry out research, training and capacity building. So in its effort to improve the, these elements at, in the third world, uh, we had been in close collaboration actually with UNESCO IG. Uh, Institute for Water Education for the last 10 years. We have a uh, few research and capacity building projects that are ongoing at the moment. But as you know, the objective of this research and capacity building projects could be realized and could have a significant impact on the development agendas of our country if and only if the decision makers also take those projects as their own projects and then implement the outputs and the outcomes of those projects in the development directions, in the development plans, and in the strategies of the country. So the major objective of this visit was therefore to expose our policymakers to the advancements in the Netherlands and also to create the opportunity for our policymakers to discuss with UNESCO IHE staff and officials face to face and then obviously support us in delivering actually the deliverables of those collaborative projects upon which huge investments are actually being made. So that was the major objective. Activity, the level of productivity that they reached in Netherlands is very, very amazing. They are high level of productivity in agriculture, and especially what we have seen is the horticulture uh, agriculture. And also, the same is true in the milk farming. It also reaches the high uh, productivity. So, this is very impressive for me. Uh, and I have seen it in reality what development it means in agricultural area. How much the productivity reach? I have seen it from this real experience. So and this is very very interesting and this is very important to my country and to my region. Okay. Second. Uh, a second uh, very very amazing for me is you know when you see everything uh, the optimization the optimization is in anything in everything you can see it optimization in the land optimization in the water development optimization in the uh, labor uh, manpower use again the optimization in the management in all aspects, you can see it, yes. Uh, everything is more toward this optimization. And this is also uh, a second and best experience that I gained from this territory. And very, very impressive for me. And also helpful and useful to my country and to my region. The reason we came all the way from Ethiopia to the Netherlands is to be able to tap some experiences some practices, some possibilities that could be implemented uh, in Ethiopia so that the growth and transformation plan actually becomes a reality. Uh, to start with, the growth and transformation plan actually started about four and a half years back. So we are at the moment at the first growth and transformation plan. So. Ethiopia currently is depending on those five-year consecutive trans growth and transformation plans to reach somewhere. And that is to reach high-level middle-income country by the mid of the century. So five years back, when our government actually started the growth and transformation plan, it started with a clear vision. The vision was to reach lower middle-income country in 2025, which means in, in 15 years from uh, 2010 to 2011. So in 15 years, we're going to be 
in lower middle income and in 25 years to 30 years we're going to be uh, higher middle level income and then in 50 years time we are going to be higher income country so from lower middle income to higher uh, income country we expect to reach actually in, a, in the middle of the century so that is where the growth and transformation plan actually fits into and this growth and transformation plan has actually various development and service sectoral programs including infrastructure agriculture water resource development health education governance what have you that's how it goes and one of obviously the major elements because we are here in the land and water development sector one of the major pillars for succeeding or for getting to a higher income country in the middle of the century is the land and water resource development so we have this land and water resource development along with capacity building as a major pillar of the growth and transformation plan in such kind of uh, development process uh, a development of water resources is very key and as Dr. Yashi said, it's a pillar because um, there is no reinvestment, uh, there is no an industrialization development without developing water resources. And you know, our uh, government is clearly put uh, agricultural led industrialization. This is the main our strategy. So first, uh, we try to maximize the agricultural activity and development. And then the role of the agriculture is going to be reduced. And the role of the industrialization is going to be up. So for us, we have to maximize the agriculture. Accordingly, in agriculture, what is the main target that avoiding the dependency of rain feed. So our agriculture should be depend on the reliable agricultural process that is irrigation. So as you know irrigation is important and then when you talk about irrigation just we are talking about the water development. Okay. And then as I told you before through the process, we are going to the industrialization with a huge investment. So, such a kind of industrialization it needs a huge water, huge power. You know? Then, the power it comes mainly, especially in my country, from the water development, the hydro power. So, you can see from this. A development of water in my country at large and especially in my region is very very vital and important. There is one project which is funded by NUFIC, the Netherlands government, to improve the capacity of human resource capacity of higher institutes in Ethiopia in small scale irrigation. So about 18 universities from Ethiopia are member of actually this consortium group. And on the north side, led by UNESCO IHE, are Tanningen University Research and the Free Amsterdam of University. So the three institutes, along with the eight institutes, institutes from Ethiopia, are meant to develop a new curriculum on irrigation, engineering, and management, and pilot run it in 2015, so that we produce a new breed of engineers who are the future of Ethiopian water resource development because engineers, past engineers are more of actually physical, physical engineers. So they know only about the flow of the water, the diversion of the water. But there are other elements which are very important. The institutional aspect, the social element, the gender issue, the water management, the agronomy, all this actually have to come 
into the mind of the engineer so that we have actually a complete personality within one within one professional so new breed of engineers are going to be produced through this capacity building project and the leader from the Netherlands side is actually UNESCO IG with its partners